Shots? Yes. Mm. Okay. You think we should put this one together? No? Go ahead. All right. No, no. Uh, true news and reviews. We got another one. I'm here we with back, Robin man. Water God. Yeah, yeah. And we got to talk about the interview that YNW Juvie's dad gave after day two of the trial. And we'll talk about the, some highlights from uh, day three of YNW Melly's trial. But this was a powerful interview. For anybody who doesn't know, YNW Juvie is one of the two friends that YNW Melly is accused of killing. Um, yeah. YNW Juvie is one. The other one is YNW Sack Chaser. And some details came out in this interview that I hadn't known about before. He actually, oh, my bad. He mentioned that he thinks that 100K track has something to do with it. Who? Who said that? Pop said that. He said oh, that he no. thinks that YNW, y, or 100K track. Excuse me, 100k track that old to do with it. manager that was uh King Von's manager. He thinks that he has something to do with it. We'll get into that a little bit later. He also thinks that one of the motives for the uh killing could have been the fact that Sack knocked the golds out of YNW Melly's mouth days before this incident happened. Did you know about that? No, but I mean, is it, you know, it's hard to, you know, fact check that, but yeah. You this know. is what the pops is alleging. Alleging, right, you right. Know, so it's not like evidence. Running. Exactly, yeah. I mean, it's a type of evidence. Yeah. It is a type of evidence. Um, What else is, are we going to find out? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. About the body being staged. I actually took the time out to listen to some legal analysis about the case as well. Uh, just initially, did you did you have a time to listen to the interview before? Yeah, I listened to the clip? interview, man. You know, well, how, how did, did, did the father come off as credible to you? Do you believe him? I feel like the father is speaking out of you know he's he's hurt man his son you know anytime you lose a son i just feel like you already are just you know you 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 anything is going to anger you you know that has to do yeah. with anything opposite than your son so i mean we can expect for what he did for what anybody would do if they see somebody on the other side of supporting their son's death they're going to be like you know whoever you with you know that's broward for you man broward ain't broward is anybody from broward they not finna rock with you if you, you know, if you on that other side. It's like whoever you with, your mama, they on that. Like they gonna talk to you like that. Well, uh, <laughs> it seems like you're under the impression that the father is from Broward. Well, he may not be from, but he got that Broward uh, <laughs> mentality. You know, I don't know okay. if he's from, but he done been around here long enough to where he got that mentality. Fair enough. I say that. <laughs> Fair enough. You think the pops might? You, you do you think the pops might be a little bit biased? He just wants somebody to blame because he's emotional, or do you, does he seem like a a reasonable guy to you? Just off the uh... no, he do seem reasonable, but I look at it like this: if his son would have burned, if his son was on trial for somebody else and he had support from Boosie, I don't think he would have uh, told Boosie to go on. Put it like that, you know, he would have accepted that support. Mm. Well, I know the uh, the pops definitely has some words for Boosie as well. He didn't take kindly to the fact that Boosie was out there supporting YNW Melly. And he has some words for Boosie directly. We're going to get into that, too. But first, uh, we'll just play a little bit of the beginning. I'll point out some highlights. We'll get to see a little clip of YNW Juvie as well. Uh, when we talk about cases like this, Sometimes we forget to mention the victims. Like we forget that people really lost their life here. So R.I.P. to Y.N.W. Juvie and Y.N.W. Sack Chaser, man. They ain't deserved it. But let's go ahead and play a little bit. Young Juvie, get it right. Yeah. Good. That's Christopher Thomas, known as Y.N.W. Juvie, the man accused of murdering him, Y.N.W. Melly 
is on trial accused of killing another man too. Juvie's dad is here with his story. I'm Anjanette Levy and welcome to Law and Crime Sidebar Podcast. Testimony is underway in the trial of Jamel Demons, known by his stage name YNW Melly. Melly is accused of murdering two members of his group, Chris Thomas, who went by YNW. Okay, we know that. I'm going to get to the part where he talks about the guys being friends since they were kids. Maybe people think that these guys just got together for a rap group that started in 2013, but they've actually, they actually go back to damn near the sandbox. Most people have no clue that in 2023, the best way to make money on Amazon (laughs) is not with physical products. So Melly from Miramar, huh? They from Miramar? Yes, man. They went to elementary, middle school. They was around, I think they was living around Miramar. The studio was in Lauderdale. Here we go. School all together. That's how we, I know his mom as well and his stepdad and the rest of his family, Melly's family. And the music started, um, I think, um, around 2000, maybe 13. And they were just all making the music together? Yes. Started from rapping at school until making music together and coming up with the name, the YNW, and it just went from there. And Sack and Chris and Melly was the, and even Jay Green was all um, founder members of the YNW. Melly was just the face of it. I say now that Chris and Anthony is gone, now he just took everything over. So, yeah, he he gave some context about their relationship. Uh, if you skip around six minutes to the six minute mark, he's going to bring up 100K track. And right before then, he's going to say that he spoke to YNW Melly directly. And at the time, YNW Melly had no explanation about what happened. Like this, uh, he didn't explain that whole drive-by scenario to him when he was talking to his pops. So he says that he never believed him and he wants nothing but the death penalty for a YNW Melly. Here we go. It out just like the police. Chris, why do you think that this happened? Why do you think, you know, Melly did this? Because, you know, Melly is on trial. The state has to prove it beyond a reasonable doubt that he committed these crimes. But why do you think this happened? Um, I think the story about the 200,000 with Anthony was a true story because it's not reported, but Chris told me the same story and also it was a $500,000 play and Melly was going to get 200,000. Zach was going to get 200,000. Chris was going to get a hundred thousand. And as, as I'm hearing it from Chris, they was going to sell the YNW brand, not a record deal or nothing like that. It was like for the, the brand itself and by them being founding members, they was going to get a piece of the pie. So I think, I don't, I don't think Melly did it on his own. I think that manager guy got in his ear and did a little divide and conquer because when he says that manager guy, I have to assume that he's uh, referring to 100K track. Because if it was up to sack, it would no, it would never be a 100K management. They were gonna- you heard him say 100K management, right? Maybe you didn't catch that. He said yeah, if it was up to sack, it. it would never <laughs> have been a 100K management. That's what the man said. Um, have you heard that detail before? Me no. neither. That's new to me. Um, what about the uh, incident? YNW Melly getting his teeth knocked out in front of his girlfriend right before this happened. Did you hear about that? Yeah, I heard about that. All right. So this was a, a bombshell that dropped during the interview. I'm with Chris, but um, you know, you heard things about him and um, Anthony getting into like altercations about uh, disputes about money over over certain situations, and they got in a fight prior to that. And they said, like, you know, the story that they say um, Sack beat him up and knocked his goals out in front of his girlfriend, and like two days later, I think that's when the incident happened. Chris, I know that something that has to be really hard about this is the fact that. What they're going to go on to talk about is the fact that the father has a daughter that's been screaming free Melly. 
Mm, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, he hasn't he hasn't talked to her in two years. He thinks that she's been brainwashed by the money. Uh, she has a relationship with YNW Melly, so that's kind of just adding another layer of wildness to the case. He ain't talked to her in two years. Damn, that's yeah, crazy. They don't have a very good relationship. Um, I think the the son and the daughter have different mothers so it, it's something like that uh we've heard another uh motive for why ynw melly may have done this in the streets they say that the members of the ynw boys were trying to extort him the father uh debunked that as well he said that that was never a thing keep in mind this is just his side of the story but he's a a credible witness uh we want to know his side of the story so we're giving it you know he believes he's he's a a god-fearing man he says it should be an eye for an eye he believes in the old testament and he says that he wants ynw melly to get the death penalty how you feel about that I just feel like it's normal, you know. If somebody hit with you, if somebody hit any of my kids, I would want, <clears throat> I would want to be, you know, <clears throat> hoping I can give them that same kind of revenge. But I don't know, you know, it ain't happened to me. I don't know what to say, but I can understand that feeling, man. I wouldn't be shocked if I said something like that. <clears throat> um, the defense is trying to say that YNW Mally is just being targeted for clout. Like the detectives targeted him for clout. He has a big name. And they feel as if if they put a case on somebody famous, they'll become famous. Do you think there could be any truth to that theory? Like this is there there could have been other suspects for this heinous crime, but instead of investigating valuable leads, they just want to put this on YNW Melly because he's a star. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I can't, act, you know, <laughs> you know, that's tough to be able to, you know, that's a, that's a say, huge say. leap, right? Yeah. You know, I can't like, I, like I said yesterday, a strategy that you'll always notice people go for in cases like these, if yeah. the facts are not on your side, you got to attack the process. If the process is not on your side, then you're going to lift up the facts. The facts is not on YNW so Melly's side. Right. Oh, yeah. The facts is not on his side because uh, he's saying that he was at places that he's not. They got him on um, cameras, on the uh, street lights. They got the cell phone data triangulating his location. They got him on DMs. They got Snapchat. Somebody's going to end up telling before the end of the trial is done. You know, uh, YNW Bortland has to come testify. That was the driver. We don't know if he's going to stay solid. Uh, another thing that he has to overwhelm is that or overcome is that those uh, fatal wounds that the guys got, they know which ones are the fatal wounds. The, the shots that came from outside of the car. They know that those shots came after those guys died because once your blood stops pumping, once your heart stops beating, your wounds don't bleed. They got ballistics. You know, they could tell when the shots are coming from inside the car, when they're coming outside of the car. They even found the shell case in inside of the car. So all of that combined is tough to get around. So what they have to kind of prove or use to create doubt is that these cops are dirty. The investigation wasn't good. It's botched. They're just trying to put this on a black man because he's successful. That's what we're going to hear for the trial, I think, bro. Yeah, I can't wait to get more details in it to see how it's going, man. But I would love to know, man, what y'all think, man. Do y'all think the the defense or the prosecution is, like, mani trying to manipulate YNW? Like, could that be the play? Well, before we go, Bob, I know you're trying to get out of here, but we should talk about the father going off on Boosie. Don't you think? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Oh, All we didn't right. touch on that one. Yeah. Yeah, we got to touch on that before we get up out of here. Uh, we saw Boosie giving a lot of support to YNW Melly. Uh, Boosie has a lot to say about murder trials and everything like that. So let's hear what the father had to say to Boosie directly. People still sharing this along old Melly, even that chat going up. Free Melly, free Melly, free Melly, free Melly. Man, everybody that's saying free Melly, that's for you and your mama and your daddy and everybody that look like you. And this me, I said, y'all bitches, man. Boosie dying to support Melly. He, he, he flaw as fuck for that. But you know, he don't even know that nigga Melly. Nigga John said, Oh, I want Melly Freaker. That nigga bought me some snacks and magazines at a magazine. Snacks and magazines at the airport. What? Man, nigga, why you didn't go go to Marlo Mike trial? Nigga? Fuck you, this nigga trial. Marlo Mike in that bitch fight for his life, nigga. Nigga, you got that man stunned up the road for all doing all that goddamn time, but you and them for Melly. And got them niggas in Louisiana fighting they got that bad rules fighting they life. Nigga, you got your priorities fucked up. Nigga, go back to your hometowns, scary ass nigga. Shit. He from Broward. <laughs> I don't think he's from Broward. I think he's from Gifford, Florida. He was even making the distinction that yeah. his son ain't from Broward. He used to go <laughs> down there, but he never lived down there. I had to cut him off because he was cursing a lot, and we tried to get this yeah. thing monetized. But Gifford, he, Florida, I believe so. I can't, oh. I can't, uh, you know, verify that. Don't, don't, don't hold me to that. But I remember him give clarifying that his son did not live live in Broward. He said that they said that during the trial, but he's from Gifford, Florida. So gotcha. I don't know where he's from, but it said he said his son lived in Gifford. Gotcha. But yeah, he do sound like he could be from around the way. From a lot of hill, you know, the ranches or something. Well, he, he sounds just way. like somebody from now. Yeah, there. for real. You know, uh, do you think he was making any uh, points that make sense? No, I just think he was upset. He's speaking, you know, he's speaking on the other side. I mean, it's something we could expect for somebody that, you know, <clears throat> he's frustrated. So did it make sense? You know, you don't see where he's coming from? I mean, it's out of anger, to say anything bad about Boosie. <laughs> no, nah, it's so just obvious. I understand where this man coming from. I understand his okay, pain. Okay, that's all like, we wanted you to say. Yeah, he, he he bringing the pain. You know, he hurt, bro. He don't want nobody supporting his. He don't want nobody supporting his, the ops of his son right now. That's he true. don't. It, it, yeah, it's like, bro, if you on that side, I, I ain't want nothing to do with you. It's like. I can res I can understand and respect that though. I can respect that. <laughs> hey, let me ask you this before we go. One last question. Even if YNW Melly is convicted, do you right. think that would be enough to convince people he didn't do it? If he's convicted? Yeah, if he loses this case, do you think yeah. that would be enough to convince his fans, his supporters, that he did it? Or will they still believe that he's innocent? Yeah, I think um, they still going to ride with Melly. I'm with you on that. I think no matter what happens with this trial, they're going to be talking about appeal, and his followers are going to say that they railroaded him. This is a, mm -hmm. a big miscarriage of justice. They're yep. doing this because he's successful. If you make good enough songs and YNW Melly songs is fire, the hip hop fans ain't gonna they ain't gonna yeah. turn their back on you, just like we saw with Tory Lanez, just like we saw with a bunch of other people. I just think that's how it's going. But y'all tap in on the comments, let us know what you think. For real. Catch y'all on the next one. Yeah. Peace.